Hello, it's Rachel and today I'm creating a Christmas themed canvas. To begin with, I've taken some Americana paint in three different shades and I'm applying these for the base of the background. To start building my background I've chosen two different rubber stamps. The first is by Rubber Stampede and it's a Christmas sayings background. I stamped this in cactus flower before switching to the second stamp that I've chosen which is more of a distressed text background stamp and I stamped this in archival's blue violet. For the focal image of the canvas I've decided to create a Christmas tree. I downloaded a template from the internet and cut this apart and resized it to the size that I wanted to. So now I'm just tracing those pieces onto some patterned paper before cutting them out. Once I've got all my pieces cut out I take some Ranger cut and dry foam and I edge these using the cactus flower distress ink that I used for stamping on the background, that way everything will coordinate. To create some more interesting texture I've decided to add some torn strips of paper. This is from a paper pack by Basil Basics called Aged Antique Papers. Before I glue these down I also edge them with the cactus flower ink from Archival. After adhering the paper pieces it did lighten the archival ink a little bit and I wanted some more depth around the edges of that paper so I'm just taking the cranberry wine Americana paint that I used on the background at the start and going around some areas to deepen the colour. And now I'm ready to attach my Christmas tree. I've chosen some soft gel matte medium by Golden to attach this to my canvas with. To create some shadow and depth around the tree so that it stands out from the background, I'm using some of the Cranberry Wine Americana paint around the edges. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm adding some stickles to the tree because what is Christmas without glitter? I'm just dotting this everywhere and then spreading it around with my finger. To add some texture to the piece, I've chosen a stencil by Imagination Crafts. This is called Multi Poinsettia, and I'm using it with some Liquitex light modelling paste. To add colour to the stencil design, I've chosen two different paints. The first here is a burgundy colour by Lumia, which I'm painting the Ponsettia flowers with. And then for the centres of the flowers and the surrounding circular dots, I've chosen a heavy body paint in fine gold. Here I'm edging the canvas with some of the Lumiere paint in burgundy, this will give the canvas a more finished look and I'm applying the paint with some Ranger cut and dry foam. Once I've done this I decide to add the illusion of a decorated tree by creating some dip dots using an embossing tool and the gold heavy body paint. That was the last step on today's project. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs>